up YouTube it's Nick back again in another video today so as you can see we're out in the garage um, earlier today I completely disassembled my front brakes on the Lexus and so what we're gonna do now is I already put the new rotors on there I'll show you guys that in a bit um, we got a replacement caliper for the driver side because the driver side caliper I believe have a, a piston that was hanging up because the pad wear wasn't even from the outside to the inside pad so what we're going to do now is we got the passenger side caliper set up on a box right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this completely cleaned off using some degreaser, alcohol, and an abrasive brush. And then sandpaper if we need it. And what we're going to do is repaint them red. And I have some black decals to go along the face right here. And all it says is Lexus. I'm going to get you guys set up and let's get this cleaned. So now, as you saw, I got all the hardware taped up. And what I did was I tried to tape off the pistons, but for whatever reason, they didn't want to stick to the face. And I even tried duct tape, which you would have to clean the adhesive off afterwards. Otherwise, it might stick to the pad. Anyways, that didn't work either. So what I did was I took a piece of cardboard and got it to about the size and then pressed it down in here, which this will even help keep these here where the pad makes contact uh, a little bit cleaner from the paint so that works out too so now that this is completely covered we are going to get it painted also real quick before I start these are the brand uh, paints I'm going to use I'm using engine enamel high temperature primer caliper paint and then engine enamel gloss clear um, I picked engine enamel for the primer and the clear because they don't make a caliper specific one 
Also, it will need to handle high heat since your brake system will heat up the longer you drive and I always drive an hour at least back and forth to work. So this needs to be able to handle long uh, and possibly frequent braking depending on traffic. So let's get into it. Alright guys, so we just got done with the second coat on the face. Uh, it so far is turning out incredibly well. Uh, the primer held to it really well. Um, and so far the red paint looks like it's holding to the primer super well. And as you can see I've been using my heat gun uh, just on the low heat setting. Kind of passing over it. And uh, that's helping this do two things, which is cure to the caliper. Um, as well as dry a little bit quicker so that I can lightly coat it again. Uh, the main trick to this is just light coats. Um, if you don't have a heat gun, wait longer, let it really dry. But you got to keep it tacky, so 10 minutes usually at most. It is a little bit cold out in the garage. Um, so I actually have a heater running behind me right now. But yeah, so let's keep getting on with it. Alright guys, so here we are. I just applied the last coat of gloss and honestly this is looking so good. I am so excited. Um, so what I'm going to do is take this heater I got right here, move this chair out of the way. I'm going to get it set up right in front of here, open up the garage, get one last quick vent try to get any remaining paint stench out of here. Uh, I'm going to set that heater up, leave it there for two or three hours, however long I'm up tonight, and then shut it off, let this cure overnight, and get started on that one in the morning. I'll catch you guys in a bit. and welcome back. I just brought the first caliper I painted in. Uh, everything's off of it except for the tape on the two bottom bolts and uh, honestly it's looking really good. Um, it does look like there's two small imperfections but uh, I think that's more of a handling error like I tried to handle it too soon. But let's take a look.
it looks like it turned out really good and right down there and then right down there on the bottom face side that's what I was talking about but like I said we don't want to worry too much about that area because that's the brake pad you don't want to interfere with the pistons contacting the cylinders or try to get it on the boot or anything I was just mainly concerned about out here and honestly that cardboard did exactly what I needed it to it stopped it in the perfect place and kept the pistons clean all right guys here we go so these are the caliper mounting bolts and so both of the driver's side ones were not super willing to come out easy um this one thankfully didn't get too damaged it's only like the second thread up i got a little clogged up with some of the aluminum off the original caliper but uh the other one's pretty toast so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it and i'm going to cut it to where the clean thread starts and this will allow the bolt to go in i already ordered six new ones after searching online for hours trying to find them which is insane but as you can see the threads on this one are pretty tapped um, so I need to cut this one up to probably right about where the tip of my finger is um, and I'm just gonna use these until the new bolts arrive this week and then get them switched out so what we gotta do is I got my dad's angle grinder over there um, we're going to cut it flush to new threads uh, and then use this caliper. This is the original driver's side one. This threading is still good, so we're going to use this to test it. These are the two good bolts from the passenger side. Uh, and then we'll use that to test it. And hopefully we can get those bolts fixed because that's the only thing stopping the Lexus from being drivable right now. Um, so let's get into that. So I had to do some quick touch up on these just cause along the face on both of these, yeah this side, uh, there was a little bit of imperfections and gaps in the paint, uh, like little nicks. I just wanted to make sure there was no way for them to peel up. Now we're going to go get the backs taken off. Alright guys, so here we are, we got the wheel off, these are the old nasty brakes. Um, so there's two retaining clips which will be removable once you knock this pin out from the backside same for the top one and then the pads will pull out and then there should be two I believe 14 or 15 I'll confirm in a minute uh, bolts in the back to remove the caliper from the knuckle and then this whole thing slides out and then you can get this rotor off the night has come it's cold and losing my control all right guys so here we are we got this one completely replaced it's got the new hardware in the caliper the new pads and the new rotor um the only issue was breaking these loose. There's not very much room back there to actually break them away from the knuckle. And basically what I ended up doing was putting my ratcheting wrench on the bottom one and just hitting it down till it broke and then put whatever pressure I could on it to try to get it broke the rest of the way. And then the top one, I was able to uh, 
use that same ratcheting wrench and then just pull on it extremely hard to get it broke loose. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I already sprayed, sprayed this with brake clean, but the rags I left, I used, left a little bit of a residue on them. So I'm going to spray it one more time, get the wheel back on, and then we got to do the same exact thing for the passenger side. What is up guys? So today is the final day of the Lexus brake install video. This has turned into over a week long process because when we were removing the passenger side brake caliper, they were over torqued and rusted so one of the bolts snapped so we had to fight the caliper off and then we had to get what was remain remaining of the bolt out of the caliper and then we had to go we went all over the place trying to find bolts the same day to get it fixed and the thread pitch on these bolts is apparently not very common because it's 1.25 in a 10 and 12 the front are 12 m12 and the rear are m10 and they were impossible to find so i had to order them all offline off of lexus i paid like 30 dollars for each set of bolts and that's for six so five dollars a bolt is pretty expensive when it comes down to it so i finally just got the passenger side caliper pistons uh pushed back in and then got the brake pads and everything installed the driver's side since it was new i was able to get the pads put in right away and get it done and just look how good that looks so all we gotta do now is get the passenger side caliper here let's go back in here get the passenger side caliper done we just gotta get the passenger side caliper done and then get the line hooked back up to it and then all we gotta do is bleed the brakes and the brake refresh on the Lexus is done. So let's get it done boys. Just real quick too, if you need to bleed brakes, every single one of them has a uh, nipple on the back. And how you'll identify it is it'll have um, kind of 
kind of an oval or some sort of some form of like edged nipple on it and then it'll have a small usually a 10 millimeter depending on the car uh, so when you're bleeding the brakes all you got to do is uh, you don't have to use hose it makes things a lot neater so it's definitely better too I just used some clear hose I had laying around. I've actually been saving that hose because I figured it was going to be the right size if I ever needed to bleed my brakes, and thankfully it was. So all you got to do is you put the hose on the end of the nipple, on the back side of the caliper, and then you loosen that threaded nipple right there, and then uh, have somebody push the brake pedal all the way to the floor. Once you see nothing but clear fluid coming out, uh, close it back up, tell them okay, move on to the next one. Just keep repeating that. And between each one, so each time you finish that, so when they bring their foot up off the pedal, check your master cylinder, refill it, move on to the next one. And uh, Chris Fix It did a really good video on this. Um, so if you guys want to just search it up on his channel, he explains it way better than I did. So now I'll show you this side, which unfortunately when I put my wheel on, Due to the tight clearance, uh, the hub adapter didn't sit on perfectly because there's a little bit of buildup and gunk on uh, where the wheel seats, and that's where the hub adapter goes. So it got clogged up a little bit, didn't go on flush. Unfortunately, I didn't notice it in time. The wheel hit into the caliper, and it caused like a ripple in the paint, basically, so it ended up just chipping right off. Uh, so I'm just going to fix that in the same exact way I showed you guys how to paint them. Uh, unfortunately, caliper paint, I guess it's supposed to be chip resistant, but it doesn't hold up very well to metal on metal impacts. It will chip. So I'll get that fixed and re-clear it. That's no big deal. I'll even be able to do it on the car probably. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a long journey changing these brakes out because unfortunately I just kept running into error after after error um, but hope to catch you guys in the next one peace out